My name is Bethany, and I'm a naturalist here at Tamarack Nature Center, and I'm also a storyteller. I was just watching some birds. Those birds reminded me of a story. Now this story has a lot of birds in it, so I thought it might help if we use some puppets to remind ourselves of what those birds look like. And these puppets are going to be available in the Neighborhood Birds Ramsey Reader, which is posted to the Tamarack Nature Center Facebook page at the end of each of our themed weeks. So you'll be able to make puppets of your own. You can tell this story, or you can tell a story of your own. Now today's story is an adaptation of a story from Great Britain. But because we're in Minnesota, I thought we would use Minnesota birds. Long ago, birds laid their eggs everywhere. They'd lay them on hills where they'd roll away. They'd lay them on sharp rocks where they'd break. They'd lay them on the banks of the river where they'd roll into the water, never to be seen again. All the birds except for Robin. Robin built beautiful, cozy, strong nests for her beautiful blue eggs and for the chicks that would hatch from them. And Robin decided that she would help out her fellow bird. She would teach a class. She would start in the morning and build an entire new nest and everyone would be invited to watch and learn and learn how to build their own nests so that their eggs and their chicks could be safe. The lesson would start when the dandelions opened in the morning. When the dandelions opened, the only student there was Crow. And Crow watched as Robin gathered up twigs and sticks and built a little cup for her nest. But then Crow heard fellow crows calling and flew away. When the sun was high in the sky, Robin moved on to the next step, gathering grasses. And Goldfinch stopped by to see how this nest thing worked. Goldfinch watched as Robin carefully wrapped the grasses around the twigs, hiding them entirely, and built a strong, safe nest for her chicks. But then Goldfinch saw some tasty seeds and flew away. When the shadows were getting long, Barn Swallow stopped by to check out the nest building lesson and watched as Robin carefully packed her nest with mud to make sure that her nest would be warm and dry and cozy for her eggs and for her chicks. But then Swallow saw some really tasty insects flying by and swooped after them. At the end of the day, when the frogs started calling, Robin settled into her nest and saw brown-headed cowbird walking by, having missed the lesson entirely. Now, no bird saw all of Robin's lesson. And to this day, Robin builds her nests out of sticks and grass and mud. Crow builds their nest out of sticks and twigs. Goldfinch builds their nest out of grasses because that's the only part of the lesson they saw. Barn swallow out of mud. And the brown-headed cowbird, who missed the lesson entirely, doesn't build a nest at all. Instead, they lay their eggs in everybody else's nests. Now, Robin knows that sometimes, even today, birds' nests break or they lay their eggs in the wrong place or something goes awry. And for her fellow birds, when things go wrong, Robin sings, cheer up, cheerly, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up, cheerly, cheerly, cheer up. 
Thank you for joining me for a story today. I hope that you make your own puppets, tell your own stories or this one, and that you go explore your neighborhood and see all of our bird neighbors. There's a lot of them out there and they're all pretty wonderful.